Well, new at 10, a very unique story to tell you about tonight on how two Colorado Springs educators are getting through these very difficult times by simply supporting each other. One is hard of hearing, the other is deaf. News 5's Renee Skinner spoke to the couple about the challenges they face every day. Increasing testity. Whenever our local, state, and federal leaders need to tell us something, ASL interpreters are always near. American Sign Language, ASL, that is the point. Doing their jobs so the deaf and hard of hearing can be informed as well. It depends on the facial expressions. That is really what this is all about. But what about everyday living, going to work or school from home? Lip reading, but of course, not all, you know, hard of hearing people have that skill. We're all different. Anthony, can I start with you? In order to shoot this interview, we needed two interpreters for Anthony and Natalie Thomas. Anthony is hard of hearing. His wife is deaf. Ryan March is interpreting for Anthony and Jennifer Ebert is interpreting for Natalie. The key to all of this is just supporting each other during this really tough time. But it's not always easy. Communication has gotten a lot harder for people who are deaf or hard of hearing. When someone's wearing a mask and covering over half of their face, it's very challenging for us to pick up on those nuances of the language. Anthony tells me even a trip to the grocery store or to get an oil change is difficult. Once I speak to someone, they assume I'm hearing and they talk back to me. Do a quick Google search and you'll find masks on the market that are see-through, but many have been known to fog up when a person is speaking. Natalie also points out they aren't a one size fits all. Some people grew up using the oral method. Some people were raised using American Sign Language and there's such a variety. The Thomases say the best thing to do. Give those people a chance to explain for themselves first instead of making all these assumptions. Maybe you can use your cell phone and type out um, what you're trying to communicate. You may have noticed Anthony Thomas is in fact an educator at the Colorado School for the Deaf and Blind. He tells me there are a lot of parents out there who don't know sign language and therefore they can't communicate with their child who may be deaf about what's been going on. So he tells me the mental health team at the school is checking in with these families to make sure their needs are being met and that they're coping. For more information about the Colorado School for the Deaf and Blind, visit our website at koaa.com. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Renee Skinner, News 5.